Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swat with the Sacramento Report, and my guest this segment is Mariko Yamada, who is a member of the State Assembly from uh, Yolo and Solano counties up north. Thank you very much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. You are a social worker by trade, I guess you could say, I mean, a lifelong social worker, the only one in the, in the state legislature. That's right, but and, I hope to change that. And I know, Yes, okay. <laughs> and I know every June you stay really true to your roots by trying to bring attention to the economically disadvantaged in California. That's right. Well, you know, every June I uh, participate in hunger awareness, and part of that uh, hunger awareness challenge is to invite uh, my colleagues to participate uh, in a week-long um, experiment, if you will, to uh, live on a CalFresh or food stamp budget for one week. And uh, that's $22 um, for five days to see if you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, and still survive the week. And you've done this for uh, three years, coming up on four years in the state legislature. You've done it uh, prior to that when you were on the Board of Supervisors that's in Yellow right. County. That's right. So, so what is it like for you? Well, you know, I think it's uh, both mental preparation as well as fiscal preparation. That is, when you know that food uh, challenge is coming up, uh, you start to look a little more closely at the prices at the grocery store, and start planning ahead uh, in, in order to try to buy the types of groceries that you can survive on for a week for $22. I think you can, fi you can find groceries to survive on, but those won't necessarily be nutritious for you? Well, that's that true. You know, I think that uh, there are some stereotypes and myths about people who are on food assistance. Uh, sometimes their um, uh, health uh, outlook is not as good. Uh, they sometimes tend to um, have other health problems, uh, obesity and, and other uh, health maladies. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, you can uh, certainly look at what you can buy for $22 in a week. And a lot of times it's processed foods or high carbohydrates, high sugars. Uh, it's not the healthiest food available. So give us one of your typical diets for a day, perhaps. Well, uh, there is the old standby, I think all of us remember in college as well, uh, the ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can buy, um, you know, maybe a dozen packages of ramen noodles to sort of share throughout the week's meals. Uh, and if you buy maybe a whole chicken and you can find something that you can use all week, uh, then you combine uh, the standby ramen noodles with a little bit of the chicken that you have prepared uh, that has to last you for the whole five days. W would you agree that uh, some of the food stamp recipients probably need to be educated on the proper foods to buy with, with these dollars? Well, you know, I think that people who are on food assistance, I mean, they run the gamut now from people who have maybe unfortunately had generations of poverty, uh, others who are newly impoverished. I think maybe those are the ones that uh, have the the greatest need for support and assistance as they go through a temporary crisis. But they can't buy just anything, correct? No, they cannot because uh, the public should know that food stamp benefits, now called CalFresh in California, are uh, uh, delivered through an electronic benefits transfer. It's, it's actually like a, a little credit card or debit card. And there are certain barcodes for products that are blocked. So. Uh, you can only buy food products and uh, some non, you know, some non-food products, but you you cannot buy alcohol or cigarettes. That is sometimes a stereotype. All right. Well, Marco Yamada of uh, Yellow County and Salusa County, thank you very much for coming by talking about your hunger challenge. We should also say that so far, no member of the legislature in three plus years has taken up this challenge, but there is always next time. That's right. Thanks for being with us, and thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can also see us on My Government on Demand and YouTube. Have a great day.